everybody, Joel, Moose Droppings by ImportSauce.com. Today we are looking at P0246 Turbocharger Wastegate Solenoid. Hi. Uh, we're going to show you how to uh, test and remedy this, uh, this code uh, and uh, do it for uh, hopefully uh, just a couple bucks. Volvo P0246 link to the turbo control valve uh, DTC is probably going to be uh, as we mentioned there in the intro uh, supercharger turbo charger um, circuit high uh, so on Volvo's that is going to relate to your turbo control valve uh, yours if you haven't got the elevate replacement here's what it looks like Part number 306-70449. This is actually bolted on the side of your turbo. Um, very hard to get to. Take off your, well, not too hard, right? Take off your tire, jack up the car, take off the tire, take off the wheel well, get in under there. Um, so it makes it uh, a little bit end of issue to troubleshoot that uh, rather than if you have the Elevate one or you relocate it up here. Uh, so the first thing we want to check, and well, here's the symptoms, right? You're going to have a DTC, check engine light. Uh, and you're gonna pull that code. And the main thing that you'll notice is that your boost pressure on your turbo is limited to about five PSI, which is just gonna be uh, about what is normally spooling through there and can, you know, kinda uh, get through uh, the wastegate. Um, and then when you hit, uh, you know, uh, hit your, your pedal, the, uh, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't fire the solenoid and then you're still just stuck at five pounds of uh, boost so uh, your performance is going to be eh. so uh, first thing you want to do is uh, we want to start and uh, test the actual main unit um, right at the connector to the unit uh, and let's see if we have power right so the uh, two prongs um, will get power uh, in the number two key position um, and that way you don't have to have the car on you get under and you can probe with a multi uh, set that guy over to 20 over here um, plug it in and if you have a voltage there then you know that your wire harness is good and everything is moving in and likely it's going to be the actual unit those are plastic they are bolted to your turbo they are um, prone to fail uh, we have the Elevate unit, and so we just swapped that factory one on as we were troubleshooting. Um, the Elevate unit is easy to bench test. We're going to put this one back on um, because everything in here is, uh, it's not plastic. All the internals um, are strong and better and, you know, not made to melt and fail. Uh, and, and so this is actually loud enough to hear the solenoid actuate. So we just uh, hooked up a, uh, a uh, ground and we uh, plug those into the harness. Uh, and then you can hit this and you'll hear it. So we know that unit is good. When it gets the current, it is, um, it is working. Uh, so we swapped out uh, on the factory one. You can't really do that. I mean, you may hear something, um, try it out, but you're listening for a solenoid to actuate. Um, ours didn't do that. So the next thing we did is, is we probed here and we saw, hey, we're getting zero um, on our uh, meter. So the next thing that you can do is on the, uh, the wiring, the very previous um, output, on that same relay is going to be your um, your oil housing, your uh, PCV. Um, and what you can do is you can just uh, pull this off and you can probe uh, this and see if you have juice there. Um, see if I can do it with one hand while holding the uh, phone, which uh, may or may not work, probably not. Okay, remember, position two on the key, uh, car doesn't have to be on, and you can, hold it there, yep, 
my hands are, are kind of moving around, but you saw that we had um, we had 12 on there, so we know that the very previous um, guy on that same relay and wiring harness was getting uh, juice, which means somewhere between the split off of that, which is kind of over here in this big harness area, and our plug here, we are not. So um, you can diagnose the actual part, you can diagnose the wiring, you can diagnose your replacement, and we found out that it's wiring, and as we peeled back the area that we thought was suspect, look what we found. The two wires that go to the turbo control valve are eh. So we're going to peel this off um, and uh, get those things all cleaned up. And uh, from there on, looks good. And then uh, we'll turn it on and we will um, make sure that we have our 12 volts coming off of uh, the plug there. And then uh, we should be good to go. So hopefully that helps you guys out uh the part um if you are swapping it out if you do in fact find that your factory unit is bad go ahead and uh, pony up for the elevate one um because i've had that one almost 10 years and, and no issues we just swapped this one on today to troubleshoot and the elevate one will be going right back on